intersection of line and a quadratic curve. So in this lecture, uh, it is the continuity of, of previous 1.8 lecture. It stays uh, from the previous lecture, we find that the value of discriminant that is B square minus four AC depends or, or describe the, the roots or the nature of roots. And the in the later part we described that the when there is a less than equals to or, or greater than the value of this the discriminant the graphs points and the value of the graph also changes. For example, in case of b square minus four ac equals to zero, so there's only one repeated value. One repeated root value root. So this case the point touches on maximum point touches the maximum uh, x-axis that is the peak value and in second case this is the case when a is greater than zero and when a is less than zero so this is the case it's only one point of inter intersection and the line touches the curve at one point this means that the line is tangent to the curve so in case when b square minus 4ac is equals to zero, so the uh, this tangent line is a tangent to the curve in this case. Now when b square minus 4ac is greater than zero, this means that there's a real and distinct roots. Distinct roots. So one value is positive and other is negative. So the, the graph always have two values. Okay. So, so two points of intersection, the line cuts the curve at two distinct points. Okay. In third case, this is the second. In third case, there's a difference between line and a point when, 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 roots are complex or complex roots complex means there's a sign of iota under root sign is there so there's a gap between the peak point and intersection point so no points of intersection the line does not intersect the curve so these are basically depends on the value of discriminant so, uh, whether the value is greater than zero less than zero or equals to zero the it must touches the curve and the 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 uh, we can say that the intersection of line in a quadratic curve depends on the discriminant value so let's move forward so this is the uh, straight line in a parabolic curve we described earlier now we have already learned to find that when b square minus 4 ac is equals to zero so it means that repeated roots repeated roots and the graph the line and the curve touches at only one point makes a tangent okay and in negative case is the inverse of this one when b square minus 4 ac is greater than zero so it touches the curve because it has real and and distinct roots so it ha must have two roots so the graph of this this so an intersection will lie okay and in the third part b square minus four ac is less than zero so there's a gap between line and a curve okay no intersection occurs when b square minus four ac is less than zero so these are the general points now find the value of k for which y equals to x plus k is a tangent to the curve y equals to x square plus 5x plus 2. Now, uh, y equals to first x plus k. This is my first equation. And second is y equals to x square plus 5x plus 2. This is my second equation. Comparing equation one and two. 
by comparing means uh, x plus k must be equals to x square plus 5x plus 2. Okay. Now, may I take a general 5x plus k, 5x plus 2 minus x minus k equals to 0. So, x square, this x, this x minus plus 4x and then plus 2 minus k equals to 0. This is my standard ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. So, the value of a is 1, b is 4 and c is 2 minus k. So, discriminant is b square minus 4ac. Now, is a tangent to the curve. So, the tangent makes when b square minus 4ac equals to 0. So, the value of putting the value of b that is 4 square minus 4a and the value of c 2 minus k equals to 0. So, 6, 16 minus this is 4 into 2 minus k equals to 0. So, 16 minus 8 plus 4k equals to 0. So, this is this must be 8. 8 plus 4k equals to 0. And then 4k equals to minus 8 and k equals to minus 8 upon 4. Then this value equals to minus 2. Okay, this is the uh, required result. So that is from this lecture. Hope you understand. When uh, there is b square minus 4ac is equals to 0. So remember only.